Hi guys, um, it's Madeline. So for today's video, I wanted to show you guys um, my skincare routine and whatnot. So um, right now, mm, I think it's like 9.15ish. Normally I do my skincare earlier than this, but uh, I had plans earlier today, so it's later. But um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what I do and ignore my room. It's a little messy right now, so yeah. Okay, so I need to figure out where to prop up my phone. Okay, so the first thing I do is I take uh, my scrunchie and I put my hair into a high, like, bun. That way, you know, it stays out of my face whenever I'm washing my face. Come on. Oh. Okay. And so sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. We'll just kind of see. Um... So after I put it into a bun, it just kind of looks like the lighting's really terrible. It's very, um, okay. Still sucks. Anyways, um, so I put my hair into a high bun, and then I take this one headband I have. One minute. Okay, so then I take this weird purple headband that I have, just because it's what I've been using for a while. Okay. And... I just go ahead and put this on because it keeps like those little strands that are at like the front of your head from like getting in your face wash and whatnot and so that's annoying so that's what I do now I'm gonna head to the bathroom and show you what I do there okay so now I'm in the bathroom and um the first thing I do is brush my teeth because I don't like it to get anywhere on my skincare you know whenever I'm done so I like to brush my teeth first like and by that I mean like Whenever you like rinse off like the toothpaste, I don't like when any like water wipes off any skincare I've done. So I always like this to be like the first step. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna brush my teeth and then come back. Okay. So after I finish brushing my teeth, I wipe off my mouth. So okay. Cause like I had like water there. Okay. So next, what I do is I take this Listerine Total Care mouthwash. Ow, fudge! That hurt. Okay. And so I just pour it like to the top ridge in here. Not that it really matters or whatever. But then I swish it around in my mouth. Okay, and then something that I sometimes do is I use this Nizoral anti-dandruff shampoo because I watch skincare by Hiram and he said that like so I get these little it's kind of hard to see, but like these little dots, and he says that this helps with those. So I normally use that as a mask like once a day, but I already used it this morning, so, um, but yeah, I just figured I'd show y'all that. Okay, so then I use the CeraVe, um, foaming facial cleanser for normal to oily skin. And, oh gosh, what am I doing? First, so first I wet my face. Okay, so after my face is wet, I go ahead and do like one pump into my hand, like that much. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's dripping down my hands. And I just put it on my face. Okay, so now we're back in my room and I washed my face and I, you probably can't tell right now, but my face is wet. Also, I'm sorry that the lighting's really bad because it's making the camera quality bad as well. Um, if it's because it's nighttime right now, because this is my nighttime skincare routine, so it's kind of just making it hard. Um, but yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so I dried off my face. Now I bring this with me. Okay, so now I I just started using this before. Hold on. Okay, so usually I use the Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Toner and Serum, but I've started using this one just because that one's about to run out. So I wanted to like try out another one. This is the Botanics All Bright with Hibiscus Cleansing Toner for all skin types. I bought this at Target, and I believe it was like $6, so pretty affordable. But um, tonight I'm actually going to just use this one. Um, and I really like this one. It makes my skin feel like hydrated, but I don't know how to explain it, actually. Okay. Okay, so um, then let me set this here. Okay, so I bought the this 20-pack of reusable cotton rounds off of Amazon, so I take one of those. Because I figure if you're using toner every single day, you might as well get some reusable cotton rounds to, like, cut down on the waste. Okay, so I do exactly three pumps of this, and then I put it on here. It kind of looks like snot. Wait. Yeah. Okay, it looks like that. It's kind of gross. But, um, 
I just wipe off my entire face. Like I wipe around my neck and like on my ears. I don't know. I don't know if that's weird, but that's what I do. Okay, so let me try to find like... Okay, there we go. So my face right now, I have quite a bit of like little acne bits. Normally it's a little bit better, I feel like, but um, that's what it looks like right now. So I've done the toner and I just put this in like the little bag that it comes in to uh, whenever they're dirty. Um, okay. So, sorry, I feel like I'm, like, really, like, scatterbrained in this video, so I'm sorry about that. Okay, so the next thing that I do, I don't know if this really counts as skincare, but I take my eye drops, because, like, I sleep with my eyes, like, a little bit open, and it, which is kind of creepy sounding, but, uh, it dries them out, so I put some eye drops in before bed and when I wake up to help cut down on that. Okay, so then the last step is I take the CeraVe... And facial moisturizing lo <sighs> I cannot talk today facial moisturizing lotion in the PM of course and I do one pump for my face and then I do another pump for my neck and like my like collarbone right here and I've been trying to get better about like not like rubbing so hard like when I do it but I still end up doing it because I just kind of forget okay so now I have this, and I'm going to put it on my neck now. Okay. Let me find some good lighting and show you what the final... Oh, wait! I forgot about this. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I don't really know, like, how to say the brand or whatever. But it's this, and it's like a nighttime moisturizing mask thing that you like rinse off in the morning. I forgot about that. I've been doing this lately. Pretty new. So it looks like, why can this not work? Oh my gosh, the lighting's so terrible. Anyways, I take a little bit of that, and I've been, you know, just putting it on my face. But it feels so nice. Like your skin just feels so like smooth, and it smells really good. Like it smells like... I don't even know how to ex explain it. It's like, it smells like coconut lime in a way, but not. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It smells amazing, though. Okay, so let me find good lighting again. Ugh. Or at least better lighting. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So I've been getting these annoying little bumps on my head, which is why I've been using the, the Nizoral or whatever. But then, yeah. So this is what it looks like when I'm done. And then I do normally, even though it's like before bed, I still like to brush up my eyebrows. And it kind of looks crazy at first. Like, look. Whenever I first do it, like that looks weird, right? But then like I just wait a minute or like raise my eyebrows. And now it's normal and it looks like really pretty. Then I do it to the other one as well. Wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. And then just kind of give it a second, and then, yeah. So this is what it looks like then. And then sometimes I put coconut oil on my eyelashes because I want them to try to get longer. Like right now. I don't know if that shows, like, how long they are. I'd say they're actually pretty long, like, from doing that. But anyways, this video has gone on for way too long. But thank you if you watched the video. I appreciate it. Um, stay tuned for a new video for me hopefully it'll be coming sooner because I know I promised oh my gosh my hair okay I know I promised like me to be making like more YouTube videos and I haven't really been making too many so sorry about that and then the last thing I wanted to do before hold on I gotta take that off um let me just take my head off. okay I know my hair looks crazy but I wanted to take it out of the ponytail um okay so the last thing I wanted to do before I end the video is show you guys I figured it'd be cool like I feel like a lot of YouTubers, they have, like, one thing that they do at the end of their video. And, um, I was thinking mine could just be showing you guys, like, a sign from ASL. Because that's the language I'm taking right now in high school. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna find a sign to show you guys. 
Okay, so now I have a list of all the signs, like, we've learned so far, and it's a ton. Like, I know it doesn't seem like a ton the way I'm showing it, but, like, I think about each of these, like, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys one of the ones from the beginning, because that'll be, like, the easiest ones that we started off learning. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you guys America, or, like, American. So, let me try to figure out how to pop this up. Okay. Mm. Oh, shoot, I zoomed in. Okay, this is going to be good enough, I guess. Okay. So, American, normally this sign is performed, like, at your chest area, but you just interlock your hands like this and go around. So, it looks like, picture my hands are, are interlocked, but it's like, like that, like, American. I don't know how... Okay, this is probably like the worst YouTube video I've ever made, so I'm just going to end it now. Bye.